Darren, who's going to get knocked out today? Really good question, isn't it, uh, Gloria? I suspect to a large degree it may well be Tom Tugendhat. I think he's not likely to get through to the next round. But you know what? This race is incredibly unpredictable. But there is a sense that there is two kind of big front runners in this. Rishi Sunak, the former chancellor who is out in the lead. Uh, he's clearly going to get through to the second round. But also the momentum is behind Penny Borden at the moment, the international trade minister has managed to gather up quite a few MPs. She's clearly proven popular with uh, the Conservative membership as well. In saying that, Liz Truss, the former Foreign Secretary, sorry, the current Foreign Secretary, say, had her launch this morning. Uh, she will be hoping maybe that she could, in many ways, hoover up with those votes on the right, because it is also possible that Suella Braverman, uh, the Attorney General, and uh, Kemi Badenoch uh, may also struggle today. And if that's the case, could those votes in future, those votes on the right of the party go behind Liz Truss. And this all, it must be said, at a time in which MPs are now voting in that second round. It's, what, 40 minutes into it. They've got an extra, General what, an extra down. hour and a bit to go. And we're expecting that announcement at around 3 o'clock from uh, Sir Graham Brady. But it is a pretty open contest in all of this. I mean, I've just spent all morning in Parliament. MPs have been lobbied right, left and centre from all different sides to try and back their candidates. And... You know what, even though you could say that I think there are three, those Liz Truss, Penny Borden and Rishi Sunak, they're going to battle a lot for those top two places. But who makes it there? Who knows? And it's interesting that Lord Frost, who's been very, very, very okay. critical to a large degree of um, uh, Penny Borden's campaign, today is calling on Suella Braverman and Kemi Bednock to essentially fold and put their support behind Liz Truss to ensure that she gets in the final two. As always, there's an awful lot of politics. It's terribly complicated. It's terribly unpredictable. General but largely, election. to a large degree, it's actually quite exciting as well, Gloria. But as General I said, we did hear from uh, Liz Truss this morning, the Foreign Secretary, and she was stating a case General that she's going to run as a Conservative General and at the same time govern as a Conservative. But I kind of face these questions about whether she is a consistency candidate, given the fact that she seems to have the task of number 10, or whether she really was the change candidate.